Question 16. Explain what is token in OpenStack. Answer. Token is an alpha numeric string which allows access to a certain set of services depending upon the access level of the user. Question 17. Explain what is cells in OpenStack. Answer. Cells functionality enables you to scale an OpenStack compute cloud in a more simplistic way. When this functionality is enabled, the hosts in an OpenStack compute cloud are partitioned into group called cells. Cells are configured as trees. Question 18. For networking, what hardware is used in OpenStack? Answer. In OpenStack, networking is done in following ways. Ports, vendor plugins, networks, routers, subnets. Question 19. Mention what are the networking options used in OpenStack? Answer. The networking options used in OpenStack are VLAN Network Manager. Compute creates a VLAN and bridge. DHCP server is started for each VLAN to pass out IP addresses to VM instances. Flat DHCP Network Manager are IP addresses for VM instances are fetched from the subnet specified by the network administrator. Flat network manager ip addresses for vm instances are fetched from the subnet and then injected into the image on launch question 20 give an example where logs help in openstack security answer for instance analyzing the access logs of identity service or its replacement authentication system would alert us to failed logins frequency origin ip whether the events are restricted to select accounts and other pertinent information log analysis supports detection Question 21. What is the meaning of term flavor in OpenStack? Answer. A flavor is an available hardware configuration for a server, which defines the size of a virtual server that can be launched. Question 22. What is bare metal node and what does it comprise of? Answer. It gives access to control bare metal driver, through which user can control physical hardware resources on the same network. Bare metal node is comprised of two separate components bare metal node operating system. It is a base software, which runs on each node in the cluster. Bare metal node orchestrator. It's a management software, which acts as a dispatcher to all nodes in the cluster. Question 23. Why compliance is required in OpenStack? Answer. Compliance means adhering to regulations, specifications, standards and laws. An OpenStack deployment may require compliance activities for many purposes, such as regulatory and legal requirements, customer need, privacy considerations, and security best practices. The compliance function is important for the business and its customers. Question 24. What are functions of NOVA? Answer. Instance Life Cycle Management Management of Compute Resources Networking and Authorization REST Based API Asynchronous Eventually Consistent Communication Hypervisor Agnostic Support for Zen, Zen Server, XCP, KVM, UA Mail, VMware vSphere and Hyper-V. Question 25. What are components of OpenStack Compute? Answer. Nova Cloud Fabric is composed of the following major components. API Server, Nova API, Message Queue, Rabbit MQ Server, Compute Workers, Nova Compute, Network Controller, Nova Network, Volume Worker, Nova Volume, Scheduler, Nova Scheduler. Question 26. What is job of a P server? Answer. The P server provides an interface for the outside world to interact with the cloud infrastructure. Question 27. What is Rabbit MQ server? Answer. OpenStack communicates among themselves using the message queue via AMQP. Question 28. What are functions and features of Swift? Answer. Storage of large sized objects, storage of large number of objects, data redundancy, archival capabilities, work with large datasets, data container for virtual machines and cloud apps, media streaming capabilities, secure storage of objects, extreme scalability, backup and archival. Question 29. What do you understand by Horizon? Answer. Horizon the web-based dashboard can be used to manage, administer OpenStack services.
Question 30. What are data privacy concerns in OpenStack? How those can be remediated? Answer. Data residency. Concerns over who owns data in the cloud and whether the cloud operator can be ultimately trusted as a custodian of this data have been significant issues in the past. Data disposal. Best practices suggest that the operator sanitize cloud system media, digital and non-digital, prior to disposal, release out of organized control or release for reuse. Data not securely erased, this may be remediated with database and or system configuration for auto vacuuming and periodic free space wiping, instance memory scrubbing, cinder volume data, image service delay delete feature.